All right, guys, so this is my Samsung TV. Uh, it's a QN, don't remember the numbers, but it cost about $1,300, $1,400 when I bought it. And honestly, it's my least favorite TV because it's always so slow. So today I wanna walk you through some things that you can try to speed up the operating system on your Samsung to maybe hopefully uh, get it to where you can actually use the TV enjoyably. So I have six things you wanna try, I write them down. We're gonna clear cache, we're gonna delete apps gonna turn off auto um, start is it auto yeah auto start power cycle the TV which is a soft reset check for updates and reset the smart hub this screen that we're looking at is the smart hub so let's start by going to settings and in settings we're gonna scroll all the way over to support the first thing we're going to do is uh we're going to check for updates so the first option you're going to um, update now and turn on the auto update so if there is an update problem you can make sure that you're always running the latest software here so that's number one number two we're going to go to device care and this is where we can manage the app cache as well as delete apps on our tv okay so it says it's running good it's not um we're going to go down to manage storage here and you can see at the very top i've used just about all the storage i have on this tv so probably it's going to cause some issues here i don't even know what half these apps are but they're here now to first we're going to clear the cache on the app okay so select your app go down to view details and open this up and this does not have any cache data right now but if it did we could see how much how much data and we would simply select clear cache and what the cache is think of it like a backpack and you're stuffing in and you're stuffing in and when you're full and you keep stuffing in it's going to have some issues that's what we're doing here we're taking everything out of the backpack uh, to hopefully make it run smoother and then we're also going to clear the data here by simply selecting clear data. And we're gonna do this for as many apps as we need to across here. Now we're also going to delete some apps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start selecting them. And on the remote, I'm just gonna hit the select on each of these apps that I am not using or ever plan on using. I don't know what that is, Freebie. I don't know what that is. Keep these ones. Well, I, have, I don't have Slain. Samsung Health. Bixby will keep that. To be All right. Angel Studios. I don't know. All right. Here we go. That's a good enough start. And then you can see at the top, we have a delete option. And you sure you want to delete the selected items. I'm going to hit yes. And it is going to start deleting everything that we just selected. There we go. Probably should have selected fewer for the demo purposes. But as they delete, you can see that this number, the amount of available data is slowly starting to go up. So it was at 10%, now it's at 11% of space. Delete, delete. Okay, so it wasn't a lot that it went up, but it did go up some. I bet you some of these apps have crazy caches right now. We use YouTube the most on this TV. So actually, let's take a look at the cache here. Oh, we got a lot of data. So I'm just gonna clear the data. Oh, I can't clear the data. Oh, cause it's the YouTube app and it's built in. Uh, is it on? It's not on here. Um, one of the, some of these apps are contracted with Samsung and they're actually built in hard coded into the software. So can't do a lot with that unfortunately okay next we're going to turn off the auto start now to do this we're going to go into our settings again we're going to go all the way over to all settings and in all settings we're going to go down to general and privacy and then here we will look for start screen option and now you can see exactly what's going to pull up when you turn your TV on, okay? 
For instance, this is a smart home app. This will automatically display smart home when the TV is turned on. So you're gonna choose which ones you want to keep on and which ones you want to turn off. And hopefully this is going to help us um, get some of our speed back. So I'm gonna just deselect that one. We'll deselect that one and I'll keep that on. So we already checked for updates. Power cycling the TV is very easy. If you have the remote with the TV on, press and hold the power button. Don't let it go. Just keep holding until the logo pops back up on the screen. There we go. So that is a soft reset or a power cycle, whatever you want to call it. Now, some models with these TVs, you can actually press and hold the power button until the same thing happens, or you can just simply unplug it for a minute, right? And then, you know, press the buttons on the, the uh, remote control while everything's unplugged to kind of def build up that electrical buildup and it should help. So that is that, delete apps. And then the last one that we'll do is resetting the smart hub. We actually need to go back to settings and then to the support. There we go. Open up support and inside of support. Once it opens, see what I'm talking about? It's still not very fast for me. Gosh. All right. We're going to go back to device care. We'll open this section up. There we go. It's going to check the device again. Okay. And then we'll go down to self diagnosis. And we'll select this. Oops. And here should be All right, so right here we have smart home, smart hub connection test that we can do. So we'll run through this whole thing. Um, my question is it progress. It's just testing everything. To make sure we're in good shape here. Okay, that looks like everything is good on the smart hub. So we'll close that. And there should be a reset option. There it is. So um, at the bottom right, it was reset smart hub. My code is 0000. If you never changed it or your pin, it's going to be that. So you can run through this process to reset the smart hub and hopefully that will help. Um, next, we're going to reset our network. So the Wi Fi. Um, Here's my Wi-Fi. Um, I would reset this network and hopefully that helps with the uh, issues on the Samsung. And last resort is a factory reset. And to do a factory reset, it is very simple. Don't recommend this because you're gonna lose all your settings, but in general and privacy, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you would select reset there and put in your pin and you would run through the reset process. So that is a bunch of things to check for your Samsung TV. I hope it helps. If it does, subscribe, like the video. Appreciate your time. Bye.